Hey guys, it's Liz and Chris here. We got our soul steps. We're gonna be working on some training. We're gonna be playing around with two different squat variations in this video. One utilizing that uphill of the soul step and then one utilizing the downhill of the soul step. So we're gonna start things out with this uphill. Again, this is gonna give us uh, access to the lower lats a little more. This has a lot more, I believe, athletic carryover when we're playing around with this. So we're gonna be using one dumbbell for this. So Liz is gonna grab that dumbbell first. We're actually gonna set up where we put the dumbbell first, I think. So Liz is gonna be, if you could turn around, for me real quick. You'll notice she's just kind of getting this nice little like wrapped cup grip over the one side of the hex of the dumbbell. Uh, some people like to use kettlebells for this as well. Sometimes that ball feels a little more comfortable, but we're gonna stick with dumbbells here. So let's turn around. <clears throat> We're gonna step onto the sole steps. We have them uh, about shoulder width apart right now and we're keeping them in that neutral stance. Again, the whole idea of this is we're gonna be learning to get on the outside edge of the foot and we're trying to get forward onto like that the outside edge of your balls of your foot as well. So we're gonna get into like a soft knee bend position. That's always gonna sort of be our top position and that allows her to relax her shoulders and really tap into this um, low lat position here, okay? And then what we're gonna do is as she goes down for her squat, I'll give you one, whoop, we're going, here we go. So we're going for this squat. She's gonna uh, be trying to get this aggressive athletic angling, okay? So let's go for a couple here. And what you're gonna notice is as she does this, she's allowing her heels to sort of float. So she's not actively going into like a calf raise or anything, but those heels are actually just lifting up naturally as she gets into a deeper range of motion. She's gonna be thinking about looking up throughout the uh, duration of the exercise. And she's gonna be thinking about drawing your chest up to the Ceiling. And that's gonna allow her to sink lower into her low lats and find a really good balance as she's doing this sort of toe squat variant. Awesome, Liz, let's go ahead and stand off there. Perfect. Uh, we'll move over here to this side now. So now we're going for these uh, downhill variations. So if you step up there for me, Liz. This one's gonna feel uh, a little more familiar in regards to like a traditional squat. Uh, so this uh, variation of a goblet squat, so we're gonna be still using just that one side of the dumbbell where we're holding the hex head like so. This one allows her to really fan her shoulders a little bit, so the shoulders can actually come forward, which is a little different maybe than you're familiar with. People are always talking about drawing back, and this one we're gonna allow them to come forward, very much like we're holding like a, like a, a bag or a ball. We're gonna allow the pelvis just to tuck under slightly so you can feel a little bit of that glute contraction at the top. And then the knees can come up to a, not a full lockout, we don't need to lock your knees, but they can definitely be up higher than they were on this one in the top position, all right? We're gonna turn those toes in slightly. So I wanna be thinking about a little bit of this pigeon toeing, all right? And that's gonna really encourage all that weight to shift forward, but we can still feel comfortable in that rest sort of on the backside of the heel. We're gonna lower down in the squat, and as she does this, she can actually let the knees flare out slightly. Boom, so knees can flare, and she can really get a really nice deep squat here. She can maintain sort of this tucked under pelvis a little bit at the bottom, and she's gonna be really trying to draw all of the work or energy uh, with the shoulder down into her obliques and her abdomen a little more, all right? Now we don't want her to crunch over per se, but we do want her to be more on this front side of the body. And I will always sort of uh, get, paint the picture in your head of thinking of like a, a professional gymnast where they're keeping nice and long and they're very much in the front side of their body. They're feeling those obliques and abs. Awesome, Liz, go ahead and come out. Again, uh, so again, this is just two variations that you can use uh, with your soul steps to perform some training, uh, get some squats in. And again, having different variations, I think is super productive. Being able to work on different sides of the body uh, and performing a squat uh, is super key. And uh, I would uh, always recommend maybe doing three to five sets of this, about eight to 12 reps, and that's it. Cool.